Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to checkout to your Shopify store in 2023. To checkout is an online payment processing platform that allow you to accept payments from customers all over the world. By connecting to checkout to your Shopify store, you can offer a variety of payment options to your customers. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So now, first, let's just try to open a browser to start following this tutorial steps. Of course, for me, I'm just going to open my Brave browser. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser. It could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Opera, you can use uh, Google Chrome, you can use Microsoft Edge, Firefox, uh, Brave like me, or any other browser you have on your computer. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button that should take you to the home screen or the main screen of shopify right away and of course here you can always see the plans or the pricings of this shopify website by clicking of course on the pricing and here you'll see the basic one which is the most pop popular and you will pay 32 dollar per month and of course as you can see there is here the monthly and the yearly and you will say 25 percent if you choose the monthly of course as you can see, instead of 32 bucks, you'll just pay 24 per month. And of course, each plan comes with its own feature. As you can see, if you pay more, you will get more features or you will get in the same features like more spaces or something like that. And now if you scroll down, of course, you can compare the plan features. As you can see, each plan is here. Online Storms comes with all of them. Uh, unlimited Products comes with all of them. Staff Accounts got increased if you pay more. And etc. I can see all of that here by your own. Of course, there's some alternative solutions as you can see for your business. If you want to, to take this uh, startup back, you can pay five bucks per month and you will sell product through social and messaging apps. You can, of course, use the Shopify Plus. You will be able to start at 200 USD per month and you can explore all of this option by clicking on this contact sales explore plus or explore starter so let me just go back or get back into the home screen or main screen of shopify so of course now if you have an account you can always click here at login and once you click on login of course for me as you can see i already have an account but for you of course you can simply click on add account and fill the email then enter the password and you will be logged in into your account if you don't have an account you can always uh, go and click add get started then of course you can even log in to your account with an apple account facebook account or even google account and of course as i said if you don't have an account you can simply click add get started here and of course you will have to create a shopify id if you want to create an account you can do that with email apple facebook or google for me because i'm just going to click on google as an example they are going to redirect me here and of course now i'll just click on this account as an example to create an, a shopify account with it here as you can see they do everything for me i don't have to do anything i don't have to fill my information i don't have to do a lot of stuff because they do here anything or everything for me of course for the ones that they are not going to use like uh, google or it's first time on their app they can ask you some questions as you can see and you can answer them of course if you answer that will help you improve your shopify store and it will help them design whatever you want or you can skip some questions you can skip all simply click on skip all if you don't want to choose your country region then click on next and here again you'll be able to create your shopify ideas an example click on continue with email and here make sure to go and enter your email as an example just enter your email at gmail.com as an example then make sure sorry then make sure to enter your password make sure to create password as you can see your password must be at least eight characters and can't begun or begin or end with a space so once you fill all of those of course click at create shopify id and you will find yourself on where i was so if it's your first time, of course, creating your account, you'll find yourself here. You can simply create your store or you can create another store if you don't have any store. As I said here, make sure to answer their question as an example, or you can skip all. If you skip all, just uh, show them where you are located. And of course, if you want uh, just for them to help you build in your store, you must answer their question because it will save 
for you a lot of time. They will help you improve your store and create a good store for what you need if you answered their questions correctly. Of course, it's not going to be personal, so don't worry about this side. Of course, once you create your store, you will find yourself on the dashboard of Shopify like this. And here, of course, you will be able to add your first products, customize your online store, add pages to your store, organize your store navigation, add a custom domain, name your store, set up payments provider. So once you finish these steps, you will be good to go with your account. Your account will be set up and you will be good to start. So once you create your Shopify store, of course, you will have to go and create a two checkout account as well. Let's just go here and create an account here. So, of course, click on sign up for free. And, of course, as you can see, we will be able to sign up for free from here by simply entering those information. So, let's do so, of course, by entering our full name as an example, uh, last name, email, it's going to be something like that, a password, and a website. So, let's just do this. And... It's the same. Let's just enter, of course, and click and check this. I'm not a robot. Then click on get started. This should not take a lot of time until we'll sign up. And of course, once you created your account, you will have to follow some simple steps that I will show you in this article. So let's start by why use to check out payments gateway on Shopify, because there are many benefits to using to check out process payments on Shopify. And let's go some over some of them. First of all, to check out is highly secured. And of course, it's a global payment. And of course, it's robust analytics, multi-currency support, and you, they have even a customer support. Of course, if you want to read the details, you can read them through here. If you want to stop the video and read them through here. And of course, the two checkouts, pricing and fees. How much does it cost to use two checkout trick? To check out is essentially free to use, so you don't have to pay anything about that. And how to add to check out to Shopify? Of course, that is easy, and there is the steps to do that. Of course, you'll have to go and create your to check out account with Shopify account, then install the to check out connector. Of course, so let's just follow this link as an example and click on it, choose our store. And as you can see here, this payments provider cannot be installed and it's no longer available. So now, ATM, at the moment, you cannot connect those, but in the future, I'm sure that they're going to solve this problem and you will be able to do so. Once you, they solve it, of course, you will be able to click on that link and you will be able to install the payments provider. And of course, you will normally find this here on the apps. Uh, go back to your Shopify, click on Add Apps, then click on Shopify App Store. And here, you'll have to search for To Check Out and... Simply, you will find the app here. Make sure to install it and you will be able to connect them both to your Shopify store. And of course, once it's connected, you will have to set the to checkout as your preferred payments provider. Then update your to checkout settings through going to the dashboard integration, then web hooks and API section. And you will normally be good to go. So that's it for this video. And now you've learned how to connect your to to check out to your Shopify store. By offering help payments option to your customers, you can increase your conversion rates and improve your overall customer experience. So go ahead and try it out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.